Okay, in this next tutorial we're going to look at how we can add students to our course. Okay, so we log into the course. Um, we don't have to turn editing on, but uh, in this case it already is. We go over to the administration block, which you'll remember we put up into the dock. We go to users and click on enrolled users. So, at the moment we have only ourselves enrolled in this course. But we want to add some more people. And we can add them as teachers, or uh, non-editing teachers, or as students when we are enrolled as teachers. Now, uh, admin has more power and they can enroll other roles into a course. For the moment, let's just check how we do this. So we go over to Enroll Users and click this button here. Then a list of all the different uh, users that we have in our course, uh, in our home page, appear. We just want the uh, ones that have WS in their name. We can see that Workshop User 002 all the way through to uh, 25 etc. is available. Now we want to enroll them here as our student, or do we? Uh, let's just enroll them as students for the moment. So we click on enroll, click enroll, 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 and we go through enrolling the students this way. Now this is one way. But as you probably gathered, uh, it's not the best way. The best way is for the admin to uh, group enroll students using a uh, CSV file. With the CSV file you can upload in one simple motion uh, and you can upload all those students into a variety of different courses and assign them into groups etc at the same time. For the moment though we're just going to show you how to do it this way uh, because we're not going to cover any of the admin roles in this particular course. So we've now added all these users and they all appear here. We can delete these users, the, the students, by clicking on the uh, uh, little cross here. We can uh, check that particular user by clicking on their edit section there and change the enrollment of that particular student. Uh, we can, what else can we do? Um, get, the, get them out of there or assign a new role to them. We might want them as a non-editing teacher and as teachers we can assign those roles. So that's the uh, easiest way to enroll students if you are a teacher. As I said, there are numerous other ways that we can do that if we are the admin of the course. Now you can uh, also change the enrollment methods there. And uh, at the moment uh, we're not allowing guest access. We're not allowing self-enrollment. Uh, Self-enrollment is sometimes useful if uh, you want the students to, uh, the, the admin has already uploaded all the students into the site, but the students haven't actually uh, been assigned to your course. If you just tell the students to enroll themselves, then you can, uh, uh, they can go to the course, click on the course and enroll themselves in that way. You can also apply a uh, password in that if you wanted to do it that way. But um, this manual enrollment is pretty much standard nowadays. So it's a quick outline of how to add students to the course.